had the pleasure of hosting one of the most amazing families for about three weeks. Um, they came through to really give me some strength. You know, I'm doing this video because once in a while you meet people who just like genuinely move you. They're a prayerful family, a Christian family, um, intelligent, educated family with two beautiful uh, kids in their early 20s. And, you know, um, I'm not ready to post anything in regards to their visit because, like I said, when people come, they have the uh, they have the right to their privacy so that they can choose you know to tell me when to post what to post if they want me to post um, and so I try to make that um, a reality for people so uh, <laughs> these people they brought me so much to this house at a time when I was feeling you know like broken and a little bit disheveled by what's you know what the negative things have been going on but having them here has been such a blessing such a weight and then you know um, it just so many beautiful things happen I'm like I feel like I'm gonna cry um, but you know uh, I can't put into words people who see this vision and understand this mission and understand what I'm trying to do here and what it, understand what my intent and understand what my work is about you know there are no words for people who get that who buy their plane ticket and come all the way to Africa because they want some of this peace that I keep talking about and when they come here and they find it and they're happy about it and um, I see it it's like uh, you know it's almost unbelievable because this very same house about uh, about a year ago this place was 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 nothing you know and it's an african-american family that came and brought their children and they blessed this house with their presence and um, I moved to tears because I did a lot of work and I did a lot of work with a specific intent for those of you who know me when you go to my Facebook page like when I was leaving America I said I've gone to prepare a place that where I am thou will abide and I didn't know how prophetic those words were I didn't know what a gift or a blessing this place would be when I was working it was like working in the dark because I didn't know what was at the end of the tunnel and I put my time and my energy and my effort behind it and I lost so much of myself I gained so much weight um, I didn't do a lot of my school work I did it but not to their liking I suffered I went I had sleepless nights because I was awake in Africa and in America at the same time and I'm very humbled I'm humbled that the ancestor asked and chose me to take this on and I took it on and so many people have come to help me shoulder this and in the places where I was emotionally um, faltering not necessarily weak but in the places that I was emotionally faltering that people were sent to strengthen me and so I appreciate that and I appreciate the people who came. Maybe I'm crying because I miss them because it was it was awesome having them here. You know? Um, and so people who are looking for peace and looking for 
quiet and looking for a place to have intelligent conversations about how we're going to organize ourselves, how we're going to build ourselves, and how we're going to combat some of these challenges in this last frontier, you know. Uh, I appreciate you who come and you who are coming. And I'm very, very humbled by the kind of work that I was able to do, am doing, and I'm still doing. And the people who see it and saw it and saw it when it was just like a wind-blown disaster and that I had to walk the grounds with this family and show them my vision and show them exactly what we're going to do and all the things that we have tied to this project here and elsewhere in Africa and all of our intent that I had to do that it, it, it brought it up in me to be firm in the mission that this is not an accident and um, I wasn't just put here I didn't just come to Tanzania because it was somewhere that was open and there was nowhere else to go um, I know I was sent I know I was sent here and um, I know what I was sent to do and I did not back down from what I was sent to do and so uh, it's it's very humbling when we find people who gather in this space we have um, we welcome back one of the other families we welcome back um, Chastity and her her husband and her two children they were here in June and then they left and then they came back and we welcome them back in the space and just having all of that good energy with chastity um, and that family all of them together in the space it, it kind of was just like reinforcing the mission and reinforcing why and reinforcing what I'm doing here you know and I'm telling you there there are things that are happening now that will shake anyone to their core you know there are things that has happened to me that will pretty much shake and rock the foundations of a normal human being but thank God I'm from Jamaica Mameko Taroks And then our, when we had the raffle, we had a family who won the raffle and she won the two bedroom, no, she won the two, the master bedroom for two weeks and she went ahead and booked the, uh, the uh, two bedroom family suite for her daughter and her son-in-law and their children and they came at the right time and they're here in the house now they came two days ago and these are young you know people with uh, young children and it, it's awesome just having them here and I took them out last night in Dar es Salaam and I slept here again for the second time and you know this place will rock you to sleep man this is no joke this ocean is like no joke I jumped up like before uh, <laughs> before um, daylight because I wanted to spend the night here so I could be able to say goodbye to these people that I'm talking about, the Titus family. And um, this is where I slept last night in, in this room. I brought my own bedding from my house because, you know, it's a chore to like wash and dry and wash and dry. So I didn't want to put the ja um the housekeeper through that <laughs> yeah um so i just brought my own bedding so i'll just take it back now so we we went out last night and 
we had a very good night. This is the new family that came. Um, you know, a Jamaican um, with his African American family. And um, it, it's just been a blessing and I'm humbled. I'm very, very humbled by seeing this vision actually come to pass by seeing it operate as the healing space that I intended. You know, um, I have events and I have things. I don't live here. So everything of, you know, like noise and blah, 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 that happens outside of this property. And I kind of want to keep it as like sacred space that we don't we don't have too much of too much happening here and you know for someone to call this place home if even temporarily where they want to be where they bring their own peace where they come and um have their own peace of mind and their own comfort and their own uh joys they find things to be joyful of the, you know, the hammocks outside, walking the beach, using my tree as a, uh, as a, um, a pull-up bar on the, on the lookout cliff that these people, they just made it their home and they found so much happiness just being here. And um, the things that we were able to plan and organize, um, I couldn't do that if I didn't have a place that I could show people what I intend to do and what I'm doing. So um, I'm very moved by this whole experience um and so yeah so african-american brothers and sisters who um it's a challenging time states are making the vaccines mandatory for teachers for nurses um places of worship travel things like that it's better to be on the other side of that than be on the inside because people are saying oh we're going back to normal what is normal and when will it be normal if covid disappeared tomorrow black people still have their own covid called racism police brutality disenfranchisement generational disenfranchisement all of these games that they play with us in our minds, it's still happening in every other way. And that's why I still firmly believe that you, you can be the best version of yourself in Africa, wherever on the continent you go, research and look for what's best for you. Research and look at your lifestyle are you in the technology field? What is your, your love, your passion? Research for yourself what is best for you and get out of there. That's all I have to say. Um, to email me, you can email me at exodusafrica1 at gmail.com. Um, Yes, to make your reservation, go to uh, https colon slash slash uh, exodushouse.com or email me, right? If you have something to say, email me, email me as well. But, um, you know, I was just, uh, I just bid them goodbye. I slept here last night because I wanted to bid them farewell. And it, it felt like, my family was going away. I thoroughly enjoyed them. I completely enjoyed their presence here. 
and the blessings that they brought to this house and to the other guests who had the privilege of getting to know them and all of the strength that they put back in me to remember myself and remember my fight. Yeah. Um, those were some amazing people. Okay, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.